Hello again, this is John, and I'm going to <coughs> attempt to darn a sock. I've got a sock here that's on a hoop, and as you can see, it's got a nice big hole in the heel. So, I'm using a FAF 139, and it has a, I think they call this a darning or embroidery uh, foot on it. <coughs> it's spring-loaded, and so when the needle goes down, this little ring goes down and holds the fabric down flat, so when the needle punctures through and comes back up again, it holds the, the fabric down at the base. And so then when the needle comes back up again, it's got a little arm that catches underneath here that pulls the that little ring back up again so then you can move the material around while you're doing the, the darning. So I'm I don't know if I'm doing this wrong or right, but <coughs> I have the feed dog uh, lever set so the feed dogs are down so they're not trying to do anything and the most difficult part of this is to hold this ring of sock open well I can get to so I can only sew through one layer of fabric at a time so I don't sew anything any halves together or anything let me see if I can get this under here Now one thing about using one of these uh, embroidery feet is the needle has to be in the center position. You have to have a machine that you can, that either a straight stitch that the needle is always in the center position or so you can adjust it so the needle is in the center. Because if you have some machines, there's zero position. If they're a zigzag machine, the zero position puts it all the way to one side or the other. And that kind of machine you can't use for uh, with this embroidery or darning foot. So we can lower that down. Turn the light on. And let's see how it goes. Got to keep my fingers away from everything so I don't get anything caught underneath any moving parts. And I've got to keep from breaking the needle, but I think we're ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go around the hole, uh, the perimeter of the hole, first. And we'll just see how that goes. Sewed that together a little bit. There we go. So we'll kind of start all over again. I think I just pulled my thread out. No, I didn't. Okay. I say it's the hardest part is holding the top of the sock open so we can work on the whole thing. Now once I've gone all the way around now I'm going to just start going across the hole and as you can as you'll be able to see it's going to start sucking the hole together just because of the way the sewing machine works and pulling the thread tight. I'll just go back and forth. I don't think... Am I sewing something? Doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot, does it? Oh, I think I... You know, Oh, I seem to 
to have lost my bottom thread. Well, looky there, I ran out. Well, let me turn the camera off and wind a bobbin and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we got the bobbin wound up again, we should be good to go here. So as I said before, I'm going to go just back and forth across one direction and then across the other direction and it's going to start pulling the hole together, hopefully. Might help to also put the foot down. See how it's just making little trails across the hole? And I just go kind of in any direction I feel like going that looks like it needs some work. Once it gets pulled together like this, then I can just start moving faster and faster and just go in all sorts of directions. So I don't know if this is right or wrong, but it seems to work for me. And now we kind of work our way out from underneath everything and cut all the threads off without cutting holes in the sock. And I see I have another hole here to work on. But that's how I darn a hole in a sock using a sewing machine. Now I think I can do it without this darning foot if I just had the normal... If I had a straight stitch foot on here and just lowered it down with very light pressure, uh, it would probably work just as well. The problem with one of these feet though is there's not a lot of room to move, maneuver around if, you, if you're working in a small area. you got this big foot to, that has to move around everywhere. So if you have one of these it works well. It would also help to have a straight stitch plate in also that just had a single hole in it because uh, with a big a zigzag plate like this the needle might push the fabric through that you're trying to uh, darn and it might get stuck. But I don't have a straight stitch plate for this faff so uh, it works good enough the way it is. So anyway that is how I darn a sock on a sewing machine. Your mileage may vary, but uh, it might work well for you too. So, thank you for watching.